Are we 0-7? Are, are we We're 0-7. We're 0-7. The Rizzo Show starts now. <laughs> Hard Rock Roxino Northfield Park presents The Rizzo Show. And now your host, Tony Rizzo. The crowd's going wild. Um, you know, I actually forgot if we were 0 7 or 0 6 or 0 8. He was standing over there. I, I swear. I, a minute I, ago, I, getting ready to do his. Are we 0 7? I, I know we're 0 4. Yeah, That's all I know. Are. Welcome to the quarterback carousel edition of the Rizzo Show. I'm Tony Rizzo. Joining me, internet sensation resident comedian Mike Polk Jr. Michael. Uh, can you pick the quarterback for London next week? Hard to say. We could really go. It could go. Think about this quarterback lineup of starters. It could go um, Kaiser and then Hogan and then Kaiser and then Kessler. Kessler. That could really be how we're uh, running quarterback. Folks, shoot be told, that really doesn't matter. Um, and let's start with something even worse today. <laughs> It happened. Our worst nightmare came true. Joe Thomas ah. is finally missed a snap. It was the longest streak. I believe it was 10,363. Uh, 10, it, it was a lot. He left the game, third quarter, tricep injury. Mike looked like he tore his tricep. But the Browns haven't played a game without him. They haven't played a uh. snap without him since 2007. I want to say what an amazing streak that is. You see Tyler Lewin come over the opposing yes. tackle and give him a little pat there telling him what a tragedy and boy did this cost the Browns late in the game I do think though rather than of course we're all bummed out about this but rather than being sad about the fact that it finally ended can we be happy that this guy had this kind of a run it is ridiculous in the current NFL for somebody to go this long so it, it does stink but injuries happen yeah. the question is What's this going to mean? If it, if it ends up being a bad diagnosis, is he going to play again this year or ever again? I, I think he'll play again. I don't know about this year. I know this, boy. The Browns missed him in the second half of that game. Brian Arakpo had his way with the backup Spencer Drango. Here is Joe Thomas on his injury. I mean, you, you kind of are in an out-of-body experience yeah. a little bit. I think you have an idea of what happened, at least. And you're trying to figure out if it's something that you can continue on with, if you can get up and keep playing, but effectively, I really didn't have any function in my left arm. And um, I think you can play about 30 or 40% function with your one arm, but when you have no function in one arm, it's, it's hard to block uh, edge rushers with, with only one hand. He's smiling with a torn tricep. That's yeah, so yeah, Joe Thomas. I, he is a tough dude. I expect yes. him though to miss some time. And the Browns offensive line lost Joe, but. Folks, the story of this game, too, was Deshaun Kaiser getting pulled after yeah. two picks. i got to say this. Now, I know Hugh Jackson's trying to win football games, but that's not the way to be no. treating a young quarterback in and out of the lineup. I, I, you know, everybody wants to know who's going to play. Look, he didn't play well, Michael. I get it. But he is a rookie, and Hugh's offense is not rookie friendly. No. The coach isn't doing him any favors, and, and when the kid makes a mistake, you pull him. I mean, this is ridiculous. The Last week it was Hogan. Yeah. T today we saw Cody Kessler. I mean, at when is point, he going to end? At some point we got to start blaming the coaches. And these, th this is the problem. You're sending all these mixed messages. S stick to a theme. Are we a young team that doesn't care if they lose and we're going to give them all the experience they need and we're accepting the fact that we're losing? Or are we a team that's de so desperate to win that we're going to mess with a kid's a new quarterback psyche by pulling him and putting back in in order to try and regain some sense of balance as a football team? And I don't think this does yep. anybody any good. I also want to say it doesn't matter whether you're 1-15 in 15 or 2-14. in 14. At the end of the year, the Browns are going to look at the body of work, and Hugh Jackson's going to be gone. And here's why. I'm going to explain this to you. Number one, his handling of the rookie quarterback, it has not gone well. Number two, his reluctance not to get an offensive coordinator. He's got too many hats on the sideline, but he won't give in. And number three, his offense has been horrific. He has not adjusted. Q, you don't have a quarterback, even like Andy Dalton here in Cleveland. Right. What kind of plays are you calling? You're being being stubborn and stubborn is going to get you fired. Let's not forget that they had 12 penalties today too, and that's a coaching thing, especially with a young team. 12 penalties. 12 penalties All today. Right. Well, Kaiser got pulled. Didn't look happy on the sideline. I, I'm surprised he didn't spout off after this game. Here's coach on his confidence. Today, I can't worry about confidence. You guys keep talking about confidence. We're in the business of winning games. This is a performance-based business. If you turn the football over in the National Football League, you cannot play. 
Okay, it's just that simple. Everybody keeps talking about confidence. I'm not worried about confidence. I got 52 other guys in there to worry about their confidence and trying to win. Okay, so again, Deshaun was playing really well up until we turned the ball over in the scoring zone. Okay. Look, I understand he's right. You've got to win games. However, you're turning to Cody Kessler. It's not like we have Aaron Rodgers. Brett Favre's not playing well. We're going to Aaron Rodgers. Coach, dummy down the offense. Help this kid out. You might be able to develop him and win some games in December. If you're, okay? if you're in the business of winning games, then business has been very poor, Mr. Jackson, quite frankly. And you're right. You're absolutely right. You're gonna, this kid's confidence is out the window right now. I said in the beginning of the year, if you'll recall, I wanted them to start Brock Osweiler. And I didn't think it would do us any good. I didn't think we'd be, but how much worse could we be? And you know what you have now? You've had a kid, if we were still 0-7 and, and Brock Osweiler started this season, mm. you have a kid who hasn't played yet, who has watched a lot of football now, mm. and you still have hope for the fans, because the fans haven't seen this kid yet. So even if we're 0-7, it wouldn't be any worse. We paid for him, why? 1-22. and 22. <sighs> That is Coach Jackson's record. Uh, because of the crazy ending to this game, yeah. too, Michael. I, 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 here we go. Uh, Two-minute warning came, and oh, that, but wait, that, that didn't count, and he missed. Guess what's going to happen now? He makes it. Oh, yeah. That is so Browns that is. right now. That is Browns as a verb. That they is Browns so hard. Browns right now. Also, Michael, did you happen to notice today? I know you were at the stadium with me. Did you see all the empty seats yes. today? Yeah. One of the most brilliant moves the Browns had, and I've said this before, Painting is the fact this, that they have the seats colored orange, because at least it looks like there might be people there. Remember at Municipal? No, that was you not the could case. tell. Look, you could tell there was no one How do you know there. that's not just a bunch of flat yeah. people wearing orange? All right. That, Jimmy Haslam has got to do something, and he's got to do something now. Yeah. I, I don't know. You, just firing everybody right now isn't going to accomplish anything. Right. But you've got to have your plan ready to go. Here's the good news. The Browns are so bad, you've got to make changes. Get that ball, ball rolling now before the other teams who are bad start doing it in January. You could be ahead of the curve. I don't expect Hugh Jackson to be fired, although who knows what's going to happen right. on the way home from London next Sunday. But let's wait and see here. I know this. The Haslam's need a plan because those empty seats tell you all you need to know, folks, of where this franchise is. And they've is. certainly earned those empty seats. There's no doubt. I did tell you this. I really was surprised that we did not end up tying that game because wouldn't that have been a perfect Browns record? 0-15-1. San Francisco goes 0-16. Oh, no. They take Don't even. I, 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 is that not I, something that would happen to us, though? It could still happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's look at the Rizzi recap. Is is Kaiser damaged goods right now? His mentally, I think yeah. he is. Psychologically. I think he is. How do you do this to a That's kid? on head coach Hugh Jackson. He's supposed to be the quarterback guy. Michael, 12 more penalties. We're in week seven. That's reeks of bad coaching and no focus on the football field. And we're still over. I don't know whether it's over seven, over. All I know is you haven't won a game. Ready to go to London? Yeah, let's have fun. Good luck, British people. Sorry about this. My goodness. All right. Is there a light at the end of the tunnel, though? Rumors this week surfaced that perhaps Peyton Manning, friend of the Haslam's, has said he wants to get back into football in some sort of front office role. Jimmy Haslam and Peyton's family have been friends for a long time since he went to Tennessee. Sure. There is rumor going that Peyton Manning might be, could be, or at least is being courted to be, Heading to Cleveland, would you feel good if Peyton Manning think, were in charge of your football team? I think it'd be great from a PR standpoint, obviously. I mean, I think that gives the uh, organization a lot more credibility than it has right now. But, again, we don't know if he's going to be a good Could he be better than 1-22? It can't get worse. Throw him in. It I, wouldn't I think he could be better yeah. than 1-22. No, I think it'd be, I think it'd be a great. 22. I don't think it's going to fix everything. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to all of a sudden make Kenny Britt be able to catch a ball. But... Kenny who? Yeah. You know, mixed message when you let Kenny Britt play after all the stuff he's Weird, pulled. Weird, right? There was a report that they were out late last weekend right. and everything. And you pull that kid after two picks. I wonder what message that is sending it's to sending the Browns locker It's sending conflicting messages, which was what they've been doing the whole season and why is everything boy. such a mess. Oh, I, you know, I, I like Coach Jackson a lot. He's a good man. But, boy, he, he, it's, things have gone about as badly for him as they possibly yeah. could this year. The Browns travel, Michael, to jolly old England. Sunday to take on the Vikings. You know what the best part of this is? This accent? It starts at 9.30 in the morning, oh. and it's going to be over by noon. Think about it. You can sleep right through it, people. There you go. Congratulations. Oh, poppy <laughs> Oh, wow. Coming up, what is going on with the wine and gold? Are you concerned? I know it was one game, but they got blown out by the magic. Stay with me. Hey, 
that. Good to be alive. Welcome back. Rizzo Show. Tony and Mike with you. Michael, the Cavs were terrible last night. I was there. I was surprised at all the overreaction. Yeah. Derrick Rose is injured. Dwayne Wade does not look like Dwayne Wade or maybe this year's version of Dwayne. How long do you expect it for this team to gel? Um, well, we've got, what, nine months or something for them to figure out? I mean, <laughs> I was at this game, and there were people freaking out. Come on, folks. There were, just relax. Come on. Everybody relax. We have LeBron. Yeah. All kidding aside, there's a lot of new bodies. It's going to take them more than three days to figure everything out. And I got news for people. Dwayne Wade is great. He's a great guy. He's a shell of his former self. You know what you need? You need Isaiah Thomas to get healthy. That'd be fun. And you need him to score and be the Robin to Batman and LeBron the way Kyrie was. Right. That's what you need. But isn't it exciting to watch this team try and figure itself out because you have all these different characters and stuff? We had, I did have people at the game around me last night saying, oh, well, this isn't working out. Oh, no, panicking. And the media wants this to fail, too. Oh, I really yeah. do believe that. The national oh, media they're all rooting against wants us. it to they fail always so do. badly. And you can hear that in the way they're broadcasting these games and stuff. And, and all the sports talk afterwards, the national National shows are all saying, uh-oh, trouble in Cleveland. It's game three. Trouble Relax. in Cleveland. Yeah. All right. Speaking of trouble, oh, did you see this, Michael? Memphis last yeah. night. Steph Curry, Kevin Durant. Not only did the mighty Warriors lose, the fellas got thrown out of a game. Yep. What? Steph, Look at the golden lighting. boy? Threw his did he throw his mouthpiece at the again? Ref. Yeah. Wait, Steph, what's wrong, little fella? Look what it takes had... him to get thrown out of a game. I, I thought, yeah, right. I mean, really, that's really what did, it did takes. Did he trip the ref after that? No, he called his, he actually called and threatened his wife, mm -hmm. I think. That's what happened. Speaking of some of our old friends, how about your buddy Kyrie Irving? Yeah. Kyrie was fined $25,000 for the NBA for using inappropriate language when he responded to a fan in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. The incident happened at halftime and allegedly the man yelled, hey Kyrie, where's LeBron? I got a memo for Kyrie. Get used to that. And you bud. know what? You know what he answered by freaking out about that and going after a fan and yelling and responding like that? He answered the question, where's LeBron? Because that means LeBron is in his head. Ooh. Mike, what do you take from that? Do you think Mike in any way might Maybe miss LeBron? Maybe just a little bit. I know it's really early, but right. it has been a tough start for Kyrie so far. And I love seeing it. Boston. I hope he continues to fail. You don't miss him? No, not at all. I mean, of course, I would like to have him on the team, but not as I don't miss this aspect of he him. He is Fredo to me. Yeah, he's he our Fredo. Went against the family. Yep. I'm yep. sorry, folks. Yep. All right. Coming up, cue the music, Mike. Yep. We're hitting the car wash, baby. That's right. Was a big week at the Roxino. We're going to take you there. Stay with me. Look at, Look at those lights. Uh huh. Well, at least we don't have to watch the Yankees in the World Series. No, oh, thank God. Welcome back to the Rizzo Show. Who doesn't love a great car wash, right? I love a good car wash. Mike, I love one right I now. I love doing it. Mike and I found a great place. I didn't thought it was rhetorical. I'm to sorry. Get a correct guess and a wash at the same time at the Hard Rock Roxino, of course. The Rock Stop Gas and Car Wash is now open for business. We were honored to be there, Michael, for the grand opening on Look Wednesday. Look at you, keynote speaker. Yeah, and, and, I, and we had a full advantage, though, of the car wash as well, folks. Check this out. Michael, how exciting. We are one of the first people to be able to go through the brand new Rock Stop. I know, it's absolutely gorgeous. This no. is. This is uh, the first time I've actually ever washed my car. This isn't mine, by the way. Right, this is not mine either. Right. So, Wouldn't it be wonderful if you could take the whole Browns organization and wash run it. them through a car wash, have all of the filth and the failure fall off, and then come back through shiny clean like they're the Green Bay Packers or the New England Patriots? Even the rock stop, we'd have to go through five times. Thank you. You're right. <laughs> Even with this high quality wash. We need to wash away our blues with the Browns. Oh, look at this. You know, Look at you. Now, wait a minute. Can you get your tire in that thing? I'm terrible. Oh, geez. This is going to be a real, especially, you know. Look, there he's waving us uh -huh. forward. Look at waving that. us forward. There we go. I, Straight. Oh, look, you did a good job. Am I nailing it? I'm nailing it. Can everyone? Don't run him Can over. everyone acknowledge that I'm nailing it? Uh, this way. Did, oh, uh, I got too uh, cocky, didn't uh, I? Uh, uh, getting back to the Browns. All kidding aside, um, something big's going to happen. You think so? Yeah. What's, I, what's I your vibe? I would expect in the next couple of weeks. Oh my God, this is neon. Yeah. 
Do that you, is cool. How about some techno music? I, uh, Michael, wow. all kidding aside, I think within the next couple of weeks, I feel something coming. Yeah. Jimmy is going to be either adding someone or the Browns are going to got it. They have to go in a new direction. And will it do any good or is it throwing deck chairs uh, off the Titanic? Michael, Michael, I was happy when we got Holmgren. How yeah. did that work out? Right. So I'm not going to make any predictions here or anything. But you got to try something. You're yeah. losing the fans right now. Yeah. You really are. Right. I know the Peyton Manning rumors are out there. Who knows if he would even be good at that. Right. I, I, I probably would trust him. Would you trust I him? I would trust him above what we have right now. That's for sure. Um, there were rumors he was in town, but he wasn't here. What was Peyton Manning doing in Cleveland if he wasn't here for Jimmy Asher? I don't know. Maybe maybe he's a big fan of our soapbox racing track that's down by... Somebody goes, he was at the Rock Hall. No, yeah, I no. think he's a country kid. No. Wow, this is really surreal, isn't it? I mean, isn't this kind of weird? I'm enjoying it's, it, don't I, get I, me wrong. I'm going to say something right now. Yeah. I go back to quick car wash in the 70s in South oh, yeah. Middleburg Heights. Yeah. This is as high-tech a car wash. Folks, like Hard Rock, of course, there's lights. It's green. It's I yellow. I feel like I'm in a rave right now. Ah. I really do. Where's the bartender? Hello. <laughs> That's what they should have on the way out. We're in the rinsing process. Rinse me. Rinse me clean of the brown. Now Rinse really, me. really think about this though. You just pop in here on your way home from somewhere or something yeah. like that. And, you just, and this thing's open, I think, pretty late too, I believe. You don't want to be looking for a gas station at midnight after, no, after no. a hard day at the VLT. And the gas station Oh, the itself. automatic dryer. Oh, I love that. That's oh. gorgeous. That's oh, a, oh. That's Hello. a good action shot. Hello, there you go, look at that. Hello. Hello everyone. Hello. Thanks for having ah, us. Ah. Wow. It knocked the camera. It's so powerful, folks. It yep. knocked out this camera. Yep. Well, there you have it. Thank you very much. The first people through the fantastic rock stop here at Hard Rock Roxito, Northfield Park. Michael, let's get, get, us, get us home. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Career <laughs> highlight. Hi. Thanks for having us. Better than the Emmy. <laughs> I think that was Emmy Award winning. I Absolutely. Mean, us going through a car wash. I'm glad I experienced that Was that a three-minute package in a car wash? You damn right it was. Uh -huh. Michael, that was the, <laughs> was the highlight of my week, kid. All kidding aside, the car wash is offering half-price washes from 2 to 5 through October 31st. So get to the Roxino. Coming up, we're going to open up the Rizzy Vault as we take a look back when the Browns' Iron Man was drafted. Yeah, that's Joe Thomas as a rookie. Here's what's up at the Roxino. It's a graveyard smash during our $250,000 trick-or-treat giveaway. Every Saturday in October, Rockstar Rewards members get Mally's chocolate bars for free between 10 a.m. and 8 p.m. Choose your favorite Mally's candy bar, unwrap and reveal a golden ticket, and win up to $25,000 in cash, free play, gifts, and food credits. With over $60,000 in prizes each week, winning never tasted so sweet. Don't miss D. Snyder of Twisted Sister with special guest Kill Code this Friday at 8 p.m. Then on Thursday, November 2nd, check out Kirk Franklin and Lettucey when they bring the Rebel, the Soul, and the Saint tour to the Hard Rock Live stage. Tickets on sale now at the Roxino box office and Ticketmaster.com. Find your rhythm at the Hard Rock Roxino Northfield Park. Vegas Experience, Ohio Address. Oh, yeah. Folks, up next, our good friends, Big Chuck and Little John. Uh -huh. Our stay tuned. Uh, Michael, it's time to open up the Rizzy Vault as we look back. 2007, do you remember Joe Thomas, uh, yeah. a rookie out of Wisconsin? I mean, we had no way to know. Here he is with Brady Quinn during his first mini camp. Do you think when he started in 07, after 10 years, the Browns still wouldn't have a starting quarterback. <laughs> that's that's true. You know what was real? I remember about that draft. He was not there for the draft because he was fishing, fishing. with his dad. At you the had time. to know right then and, and there. That's he was when a we good knew dude. he was a Clevelander and a good yeah, dude. Yeah. And we man, were we right about him? Quick look at baseball. The Indians are losing pitching coach Mickey Callaway to the New York Mets. That is going to be big. He is going to be their new manager. Tough gig for your first managerial is, job, yeah. replacing Terry Collins. Happy for him though. Yes. Plus the World Series, folks. Gets underway on Fox. Are you watching? It's at least it's not the Yankees. I might watch. I don't. I don't. I don't hate either of those teams. Um, 
I will hate them if they go late next Sunday and yeah. make Rizzo show late. That would be All bad. All right, don't forget, a week from tomorrow, what are we doing? We're going to be at the Roxino. Uh, Tony and I doing a live show right there for you. Be there at 530. We're going to have prizes, questions, trivia. You can get have your chance to be on TV at the Roxino. It's right. going to be a blast. We need an audience. Yeah. We need you to come out and help us out. A week from tomorrow, it's free. 530, it's absolutely free. Just show up. Yep. Yeah. And it, we'll have fun, I promise. Even yeah. though, you know, we don't know if we'll be any Who good. knows what's happening. Good to be alive. Good night, everybody. Good night, folks.